We are live. Charlie, the issues, ciao. Ghana's black princesses are in the under 20 Women's World Cup. They received their first baptism yesterday. Their next game is against the defending champions. Boy, oh boy. We'll try and make sense of that game against the United States. The Ghana Premier League fixtures for the 2022-2023 season has also been released. We'll be talking about that as well. Some Ghanaians have been donkomit. Oh yes. Others are on the verge. And on the foreign front, hmm, Manchester United. Tell it just when I say that I've had enough Manchester United discussions on the show, and so I want to move on with my life, they say, uh uh-uh. uh. We will bring Anatovic into your picture, Adrian Rabio into your picture. They say Marcus Rashford to PSG. United say Rashford is indispensable. Hey, Marcus Rashford, indispensable. Let's be serious, please. Wesley Fofana is also on the radar of Chelsea. They look like they are in the middle of deciding if they want to break the bank for Wesley Fofana. But like I said, Gideon Mess has moved to Auxerre. Abdul Khalid Moumin, his own good friend with whom they share an agent, is apparently also on the verge of joining Anger. So there's that in the mix as well. And then of course there's the Premier League this weekend. We cannot miss that. Yes. There's Arsenal versus Leicester City. So the Gunners get a real litmus test real early. There's also Chelsea Football Club inviting uh, Antonio Conte's uh, Tottenham Hotspur. So that should be good. Tottenham have been touted a lot following their su- uh, summer signings and also their first game. Let's see if they are about that life. You can join the conversation via text, WhatsApp and Telegram. 0549-986-996. 0549-986-996. That's the text, WhatsApp and Telegram line. You can also get to me on Twitter. Get to me at Kojun Ketia. But before we start the show, you know we cannot do this without the hand of God. Oh yes. Oh yes, an ordained man of God. Ordained man of God. When the man of God rubs his hands together. Oh, oh Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Rabbi. Oh, Ra. Bye. Oh, Rabbi, please. Afieche, afieche. Waka afieche, game afieche. Mene soa, ni ma soa. Ni ma soa. Ye wa ziba wa. Waka ogbele ya che o manche ye li abba. Waka wa han game fe afie, afie. Afie aya, ni ba ni na wo. Wasa afie be ne, wa ye jole mi ke mi she. Ni yo wa ebele ba wo. This sports panorama, a tea, any a shack of a bash, a jack, a mingle. No, but I'm so Oh, Charlie, but the any coach and a twenty B. What a man is here. No, I'll cock of iron, Bulabe, Lulabe, 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 I 
Man, you want to go. 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 Many what team me, Jima me team me. Yo, I walk here. Many what man you team me? Jima me me. Meta ke ano. Meta. Oh, oh wood one. 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 Oh wood Let's get into women's football and let's start off with Ghana's Black Princesses. So Ghana's Black Princesses, they were up against the United States. Uh, remember that Ghana is in a group with the United States, the Netherlands, and Japan. Now, Japan are the defending champions. So, Ghana kicked off the campaign yesterday. Um, one red card, three goals against Ghana, no goal scored. So, as as <laughs> as morbid a start as you can have to a competition. Um, Coach, let me start off with you. You are the technical man. Uh, you saw things with a technical eye. Hmm. <laughs> what what did you see wrong with our team and from where you sit is it a problem we can solve in the in the remaining two games or what we saw is an indicator of the doom that is to come and so we need to prep ourselves look i think we have to prep ourselves because i watch the game japan played and if i just oppose that one against what our girls did against the United States of America. Uh, it's clear. It, yeah, it has never been crystal clear. Hmm. It has never been this clear. It has it's never been. Clay. There's no way ah. they are going past the Japanese because they are a more properly a, a built football team. Japan is better than America. I far, think. far better hmm. than America. And look, for the records, at this level, we've never lost to the USA before. <laughs> Before yesterday, we had played them twice. Mm -hmm. We have not beaten them. They've not beaten us. So for them to have done what they did to us yesterday, it was very, very shocking. Hmm. Shocking in the sense that, how can a coach, mm. this is his team, mm -hmm. oh, is his this team? is your team. Nobody else is. How can a coach who has worked with these girls for the past two, two and a half, three years, just go to the tournament and completely abandon all the good things that he has done or he's known to have done or is in the process of doing to get the team to play at its very best. I have never seen it before in my life. In his life. Never in your life. The team belongs to you. You have prepped this team. You have built this team in your own image. And now, likeness, image and likeness. Not all. <laughs> in your own image. Now, the tournament for which you have gone through all these years of preparation Qualifying, yeah. and qualifies and all that, you now get to the tournament and then you begin to do things haphazardly, ha by heart. Haphazardly. That's the way I would see it. I, I, that's the way I saw it, in fact. <laughs> because why would you be changing? You see, in major tournament, it is good to go with utility players. Mm -hmm. But before you think utility, you should think specialist in position. Mm -hmm. uh, why would I go and ask a specialist at right back to go and play as a center back? A shock. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you virtually change the position of the entire playing body? Mm. And you lost your most important player a day to the commencement of the turn or a day to your game. Mm -hmm. If you look at the bench there, <laughs> the obvious solution to that problem. Yeah. Like for like. Like for like. And when this girl has got some form of pedigree yeah. to have played at the national level at the World Cup and we all saw what she did. I'm talking about the one who was Muka so... Mukarama. Mukarama. 
Then the coach looks at the team. And then he he went and brought who? Many Jim Sharon Samson. Sharon Samson. Sharon 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 Nation. Sharon Essinam Samson. Sharon Nation. Sharon. In fact, it was Jalawa. Oh, how? No <laughs> Jalawa. You get Jalabola, toi. What he had done, one time, what he gave me. Mukarama. If I get you game, I was simple. She could have easily pushed the game forward simple. Mukarama. Mukarama. If I get you game, I was simple. No, how can you, as a coach, decide to bench Mukarama? No, you won't. Same to you, Samson at all. Eh? Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. Essinam, Samson. Samson. Coach. He's one of two professional players in the team. Mm. Is it? No, but Mokarama is also a professional. Yeah. Coach. This Evelyn is Bedou is a professional as well. Better she number nine. Yeah. A more prolific number nine. A number nine who would have sent some fears through the spines of the uh, uh, USA players. Sensation. Of course. Uba, feel it in their bones. Uba, coach, to be honest, they said Mokarama wasn't fully fit. It's not true. So when we were 2-0 down and a red card, that was when she was fit. Yeah, see, she she became fit all of a sudden. Relax, relax. She wasn't fit to start and last the huh? game. That's why she didn't start. That's what he said. Look, before the game, Mukarama is so well an important player to this team. So if she was not fit, there should have been some report suggesting that she was not fit to start. Was there any report of the sort? Not that Ooh. I know of. The only report we got of we was, got, Evelyn was the Evelyn captain who we all were all told that he's injured and for one reason or another she will not be able to even partake in the tournament. No, Nobody sorry. told the people of this country mm -hmm. that Mukarama, our most prolific goal scorer, one of our is was 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 not fit to start. Mukarama. Nobody. It's because we were now asked or we are now asking the question that why would the coach bench her mm -hmm. for Sharon? Sharon. No more second is Sharon Abeshi. Asaka Beshi Kra. No Mukarama at Mojalami. They push a game out. You mean Mukarama must be in the Jalami? Naka to Mojalami, they push a Jalamo. Sharon, and from the way. From the way. Uh, Nathan, please translate for us. Susu says he doesn't understand. That guy is not there. So <laughs> essentially, he's just saying that Mokarama should have been like in the thick of affairs. Yeah. In the thick of affairs. I need Domojalami. Domojalami, they push a game, man. They push a game, man. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Look, and then, and then if you look at the manner in which we're playing, Ebashekwe, bim. Bam, boom, boom. Me not travel so fast, Then the assistant coach will get. Ah, I'm on board, boy. I don't know, I'm boy. No more holy no boy. One bam, me far away. Man, that part, that part killed me. Just watching and reading their lips, I was in stitches. I I had a lot of things. Some I cannot say here. Just that. You see, guys. I think yesterday was another reminder. You see, there's this thing I always say that Ghana, we are the only country in the world where we oh keep boy. getting reminded. Oh boy. And yet we don't act. In case after five minutes, we could tell the world of difference between, between the, the two, two teams. teams. Mm -hmm. We considered after 11. The score could have been like 10. And the coach, you see, what made it even worse? The so nothing prompted him that whatever he went into experiment was not working so let me let's let, change it let makes the girl let me do things to make the girls a bit comfortable in their true positions and in their true role so that we can at least match up to whatever the usa team was throwing at us rather he kept them in that discomfort mm -hmm. and they kept being bombarded bombarded Sharon. bombarded Sharon. Sharon, then you come I, and I tell think us it was such a big that, disappointment that, that, yesterday that mukarama was not fit and the question i asked was that so when we went two zero down and a red card, then Mukarama all of a Mukarama. sudden just became fit. <laughs> she just became fit. So we should throw her in there. He said, You don't do that. Quick. You don't do that. It's like we're taking one of the boxers to the Commonwealth game and there were medical men, medical team, and the man was doping himself, and we didn't know that he was Dope. doping himself. Doping himself. Taking on um, uh, banned substances. <laughs> what sort of country is this? Huh? We took blind people to a tournament after they have won the game instead of them, no, deaf and dumb people. You remember that story? Cafe yeah, yeah. Mafe, Cafe Mafe. And they told her, hey, you, you are deaf and dumb. You are not supposed to be saying Cafe Mafe after winning. 
Like a no. Oh, people who are supposed to be deaf and dumb. <laughs> After we do, that's a man say. You don't do that. You don't do that. You see, we should add. Let's go. Let's go. Get very near for you tomorrow. Ah, Jay concept. Go. Ah, Jay. But shock. Chris, I said we are joking. I I agree with you on. And that was a Ben. That was a point. Oh, Charlie. Look, Ben. Yeah. See, I always and I I'll repeat my point. We we are the only country in the world that everything that happens, like everything reminds us that let's do better, and yet we don't do better. We've gone to this under 20 World Cup and every time we go, we get reminded that we are behind. We've never, we've never made it out of the group stage in this particular no, competition. Can't. But we've been to every single edition. You know, I think we've been to six. This is our yeah. sixth or seventh. Yeah. I could be wrong. But we never get better. We take a team to go play a competition. And f- like, from, from, in case of from the first minute, you could just tell. And you see, what we saw on the pitch, it wasn't that the Americans were... What we saw, we were not the, extraordinary. It's just a manifestation of two countries who, like, you get the sense of how they feel about women's football. One country that takes it seriously, the other country that doesn't. Hmm. That's really what happened yesterday. Everything we did just showed that we were behind. Yeah. Team structure out of the way. The coaching was absent. Nothing was working. Also, the girls, they were helpless. And it's all because one team takes it seriously, the other team doesn't. Look at the Americans. If you watch what they were doing, I won't say what, like, you could tell, every, what they did was a depiction of a team that's just serious. We well, had a pattern. To a tournament and we want to play a setting, this is what we are doing. We pass the ball this way, we move this way, we do this, we do that. At a point, you could even close your eyes and tell what the Americans were doing. The lady played on the right of our team. She would get the pass. She would run with the ball. And instead of it to cross the ball, she kept shooting at goal. And the coaches were standing there. She did it um, once, twice, thrice. I said, ah, oh, can they tell her? Is it Tay? Tay, 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 the one. She, she, she right did that Tay. several times. Several times. Then the coaches were just there. Rather, they were speaking tree. And then Namu Yei. Bobe Namu Bonis Ano. What the fuck they should be doing? What is that? Oh, no more. Look, it's, it's, they wrap it up for I'm us. The, I'm just saying, we, look, we just need to get serious with this game because we are left. In case, hello, did you? Did anybody watch the women's Euros? Yep. Ah. Hmm. Yep. Did you see the level? Have you seen the level? Hmm. Right. Oh that's the that's the standard. Our final German and even that, England final. Ben and even that, when teams like Germany and England get to the World Cup, they get reminded, yeah. of course, that countries like the USA and Japan exist. exist. Hmm. So meaning that for us down here, that we, we are like five worlds behind. We are in tier five. Look, I watch the Japanese. Eh? No more. No, the Japanese are on a different level. Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka. I think when it comes to I think when it comes to women's football, I think we are playing them when on Tuesday or Monday. 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 Look, they've always been a powerhouse. Look, the way they will they will make our girls plan for bread. No more uh, 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 Sharon Jewel, a babu pufu pafa. Because they will pop them around. No, pop them around no more. Oh, Nathan, oh, conclude, see, for conclude for us. Conclude for us. This team, what what I think what we should do with this team, think about it. Our black queens, they won't make it to the next World Cup. Yeah. The next time they have a crack at the World Cup will be what? The next one. The after next this. one after this. That's a while. So I four years. That's about you. so next year is the World Cup. Twenty twenty three. Yeah, then it's then uh, 2027. Seven, yeah. So which means the next wow. pop they have at the World Cup will be from like twenty twenty five. When they start the qualification. When they start the qualification. Oh what we can do is this team goes to taste the tournament. Let's get serious, and let us use this team as a base for the next Black Queens team because at this level, clearly this team will struggle. The rest of the world has moved on. So we need to take this as a nice step and then build from there. And we should stop the funny, funny selections. It is very clear some people are just not ready. Don't play them. You are not obliged to play them. Ronaldo was 17 when Brazil took him to USA 90. But he didn't play. Nobody complained. So you don't have to just take anybody there to go and run around and not add anything to the team. Yeah. That's the word. Daniel, you want to have the conclusion on this? You see, for me, I'll not blame the players or the girls. No, of course not. I think Ghana, aside the black stars, every other sport at every other level, it is just your raw talent and vibes. 
honestly, when you go to boxing, that's the exact same thing we are doing. The boxers are they are miracle workers, oh. I'm telling you, no, they are miracle even workers. The, even our athletics. You go to yep. athletics, the same thing is there. You go to the youth team football, men, women. We are still competing everywhere. at a raw talent level. This is raw talent. So if you don't, you you can't you. you it's very difficult to see structure in what we do. And it's very serious because where the world is going, people are taking... There's no structure look, to see. Let's people be are taking things seriously. It's not just your talent. Talent is just not enough again. And what we are doing to ourselves, this is what will happen will happen. At the end of the day, we will not see Ghana going anywhere. Look at what is happening to the athletes. We can all see that. They are, they are just a touch away from being elite competing with the best mm -hmm. and it's all down to coaching it's all down to infrastructure mm -hmm. but we will not put in that effort we are leaving them and at the end of the day what will happen will happen when we take look at what to, is happening to do technical over shock look at what is happening to the to, <laughs> oh, no. to women's football it's not it's not just the princesses mm -hmm. look at what happened to the maidens that one cries a different subject altogether look at what is happening to the black queens look at the technical expertise when they faced Nigeria, yes, the second leg they played well. But you see, you can tell that a group of people are when you can when you let see a group you of people being coached. Very let well. me let me just let me just bring finality to this for you. The clearest depiction of how much our women's game is, is behind and how much we are falling off the pinnacle that we used to be on is depicted in the words of Messi Tego Kwaku herself. <laughs> yes, South Africa. <laughs> they used, they to, used be to be our, our girls. girlfriends. Now, now, they are winning championships, yes, and you are still the side chick or the bridesmaid. You see, it's, it's, it's sad, and I'm right to invite you. Didn't even you didn't get invite, invite to the wedding, no, 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 it's not just women's mm. football. That's what I'm saying. Aside black stars, who everybody is concerned about the quality of... Nobody seems to care about the rest of the... Yes. Yeah, they cuts across. That's what I'm saying. We just took the under 20 Look at the black bombs. Look at the black bombs. Is this... And I, you see, I have nothing against we the have, coaches. We have one. But look at, look at what one. is happening around mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. We are seeing boxing yeah. elites grow in certain, certain countries. People are slowly... Countries who, their countries who don't even have a tradition in boxing. Exactly. And we are here... We are using our natural talents. This guy can punch two people. So he goes there, he wins a medal, then he, he's good. And from there, they can't progress to the next level. We have, we have, is just we have only one IBA certified coach in this country. Some, and, one. And no, one. we have to say something. We look at what they did with Anthony Joshua things. from um, 2012 Olympics London. Look at how they promoted him. And look, at he won championships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What have we done with our poor medal? We need to start looking at these things. So, yeah. Because I'm telling you, in sports right now, talent is not enough. Look, the has never been, will never be. These things are very, very essential if you are going to get to the next level. And if we are continuing like this, it will be just be Ghana is great in this. And when it comes to currency and how recent we've won something, it will be a long and then and this just this last history point. lesson. You know that the women's game is completely dead now. Oh, yeah. Because the foundation of their game has been banned. Hmm. And as we speak, Nobody from the Ghana Football Association. No apology, None no of them. Nothing. No apology. No explanation. No fire. No, nobody has been sacked. No dissolution of that management team of the black men. None. You know what it tells you? They it don't what, care. What people are these? They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Keto Kriko, president of Evi. The, the, the girls under 17, they've been banned. It is our girls. They have been banned due to your inactions or irresponsible act. At the very Nobody best, negligence. Can you believe that? Yeah. Nobody yeah. has rendered the girls any... have been banned for two qualifiers. And that is close to six years. Yeah. Nobody from the FE, Henry Asante, this one you will not come and talk and explain what has gone on wrong with our team. You've just gone mute. Mute on the matter. Because the fact My is one and only friend, the general secretary of the FA, you have not seen the need to come and explain and apologize to Ghanaians and say we are sorry. This is the first time in the history of this country that our team has been banned. It has never happened before. Mm -hmm. That we have people walking about management members touting themselves, raising their arms that it was no fault of theirs. You go and pick a third year university girl to come and play under 17. Are you serious?
Mi mo ni le yo, mi nyen le ni. Sabi sabi ta flache, nyen le ni lo. Mi nyen fi obasa basa ni. Nobody has apologized to anybody. So we've swept that under the carpet. Like Nathan said, look at the under 20. They are not good enough. So we we'll push them to the black stars. The current uh, under 17, who was also virtually not good enough, didn't qualify, we we'll promote them. Now who is going to replace them for the next six years? Yesterday, Nobody yesterday, is talking about as soon as we lost the game, they decided to post the Ghana Premier League fixture. Can you imagine? That is that's and that's exactly what happened when the black medians go back. Exactly. Then they, brought the they brought the nationality and, and, and then they brought I'm a boo no more. I'm a boo. Let's talk to the women's let's talk about the women's uh, Premier League or the Ghana Women's National League because they have a sponsor. The people from Malta Guinness are here. They are doing some wonderful stuff for our game. Having a headline sponsor is a big deal. So the Women's League getting that headline sponsor is the best possible thing that could have happened to them. Okay, so Michael is here. Michael Echampo is here from Malta Guinness, Marketing Manager Innovations. Um, I believe I got that right, Mike. Yes, you did. Nice one. Um, Mike, let's let's quickly get into the conversation. I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that Malta Guinness were um, throwing their hat in to support women's football, uh, primarily the National Women's League. But, I mean, from your side, where did this motivation come from and how long has this been in the works for, for you guys? Um, thank you so much for, for having us here. Um, so, from us as Malta Guinness, right, um, it's been a journey. Um, we've been on an agenda as a business to support, um, to champion the progressive portrayal of women. And then we've been looking at um, what other um, platforms that we feel our impact could be much, much more impactful. And so we looked at several other uh, platforms and the Women's Premier League for us is one area that we feel we can make a lot of impact. And so, and it's again, it's, it's in line with our, our brand um, promise, which is around, you know, fooling the can-do attitude of Ghanaians, of people. And so uh, we believe that we can become that brand that fuels um, the energy of the Women's Premier League, supports these ladies mm -hmm. to actually... Uh, push on to 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 win um, in in their endeavors. Mm. I mean that that's a very commendable um, initiative that you guys have taken. So just just quickly talk to us about what the engagement was like when you when you reached out to the FA. I mean seeking to sponsor the league. What was the reception like? What, what was your discussions like? And how how has the relationship been so far? I think it's been nothing short of brilliant. Um, mm. Um, the FA has been very supportive. Um, there's been several conversations that has happened, you know, um, with our management, you know, mm -hmm. our, our directors, they led the conversation and finally we had this sponsorship of the Women's Premier League going. Mm -hmm. I think it's, from our side, we are super excited because like I mentioned earlier on, it's part of our diversity and inclusion agenda to ensure that um, within every space that we are, we are operating, mm -hmm. we are establishing our leadership and one of our agenda is it, uh, one of our agenda is really to push this progressive portrayal of women, and the women's Premier League for us is one way that allows us to do this. And I think the FA too, um, if you look at the support that some parts of the of of the FA's um, um, products, I would say say the the the, the men's fo football league, yeah. the, the 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 Ghana Premier League, and other platform do normally will get other support other than the women's Premier League, and so. For us, like I mentioned again, where our impact can be felt the most is is, is the is where we decided to go. Yeah. Let, let's talk about the the actual benefits and let's get into the details of that. So, um, how much are we talking about here in terms of the money that you're putting up to support the league? Yeah. So, with regards to the money, I think um, it's it's a ten million Ghana City sponsorship okay. spread over a period of three years. Okay. Um, that is being given to the FA. So. 
totally it, it's it's around 10 million the total sponsorship is around 10 million spread over over three years hmm. now i mean typically we know that these things will come with uh let's say some development agenda for the league and so you you probably be seeking to not just sponsor the league like on the headline level but you'd be seeking to maybe develop aspects of the game. Is there something like that in the works with this as well? Yes, 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 yes. So um, aside just the, the, the cash, you know, amount that is given to the FA, there are several other plans to actually promote the league from our side as Malta Guinness. Okay. And so still in line with our, 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 our mission to actually um, for the word of good okay. as Malta Guinness, it's, um, there are several ways that we seek to bring this to life within the communities of these um, f uh, uh, football clubs, the, the women football clubs. And so we, we have several um, activities that we've planned to actually um, kick off. And so um, if you go communities by community, these football clubs belong to a community. And so there are plans to actually um, excite the community about how they can actually also support their football club. And we know that the Women's Premier League Although they are sponsored, but in terms of mm -hmm. it awareness, it's not really at, at that level where the other some of the other men's league are really there. And so, mm -hmm. it's for us also to to hip up excitement around the, the the match days activities and how these football clubs can also the the match days can actually get a lot of viewership on TV and even on ground as well. Talking about the match day, so are there going to be like you know Malta Guinness products? Is there like are there like awards for like? women of the match like stuff like that you have like so stuff yeah like so that? all these things are part of the conversations that okay. that are still ongoing mm. and mm. it's it's really something that we really want to do okay and so um um, um man of the um women of the match so um best goal of the season all those okay. kind of awards that can pull through uh we, we seek to reward all those and i think it's part of our agreement that we currently have with the with the ghana football association Hmm. Um, I think this is a credible, credible, credible uh, initiative. I, I didn't see a headline sponsor from for the Women's League coming from anywhere, if I'm being very honest with you. So I think it's an absolute blessing. But let me just let you have the final word out there. Um, a word for our women, a word for the supporters of the league, a word for potential viewers of the Women's League now that Martha Guinness is on board. Let, let, let's hear what you have or the message you have for them. Um, so from us, from Malta Guinness, we say... Sponsoring the Women's Premier League um, is really, we are really excited about it. Mm -hmm. And it's not just because it's it's a platform that we really wanted to sponsor, but because it's in line with our, our, our mission as a brand, our purpose as a brand, which is to to drive um, a world of goodness. And mm -hmm. within the world of goodness, as Malta again, is there's goodness, there's vitality, there's energy. Yeah. And we believe that... Um, once you push for it, you can get it done. So that's the can-do attitude, can-do um, belief that you can get it done. And so for us, we believe that Malta Guinness is the right brand to actually fool these ladies mm -hmm. to actually push their professional agenda of becoming, uh, uh, of winning in their, in their chosen endeavors of within this Women's Premier League. And so uh, what we urge is that once you feel, you feel down, grab a bottle of Malta Guinness, cheer yourself up, knowing that Malta Guinness is the brand to actually fuel your energy and bring you that vitamins and nutrition that you deserve. Nice one there, Michael. Um, uh, I think, I think you, you have broken down the... Uh, <laughs> you have broken down the, the most important bits of the, um, the deal for us. I, I, I wish uh, you guys have a really successful partnership. We will be here uh, to propagates the good work yes, that you're doing anytime yeah. we will uh, need actually mm -hmm. your support to actually also bring this women's premier league to life and so just like we um all the media houses are really talking about other premier mm -hmm. leagues i think the honors also lies on us to also promote our own you know promote the women's premier league let's yeah. bring it up because there are several talents that is that that's that's this women's premier league is actually on earth and, and i believe we have um some some responsibility on our part to also play to actually bring this to life yeah. and ensure that these girls are also being fully supported and for us from what again is we'll be here to forward the energy within the next three years thank you very much michael michael champo is the uh, marketing manager innovation for malta guinness if i got that right
for Guinness Ghana. Okay, so uh, Michael Champo, Marketing Manager, Innovations, Guinness Ghana. Thank you very much. Guinness Ghana doing really, really good work. So Malta Guinness uh, officially headline sponsors of the National Women's League. Okay. We'll take a quick break here on the show. It's about to go up a few more gears. Adrian Rabio and his mother are engaging Manchester United. PSG wants Marcos Rashford. Chelsea, Chelsea wants Wesley Fofana. Barcelona say that the Young's contract is illegal. Hey, Charlie play on our breast. Hey. All that and more still to come. So as a preview of this weekend's English Premier League action. Don't go anywhere. Stay right here with us. We'll be right back. City 97.3 Accra It's creamy Creamy plus Delicious milk Creamy plus for you Creamy plus is a delightfully delicious option whenever and wherever the occasion calls for milk. For your quick meals on the go or quality time at the dining table, jazz up your favorite Gary Soakings, Mash Kinky, cereals, and all hot and cold beverages with a creamy, protein-rich, healthy option of milk. Creamy plus evaporated milk with vegetable fat is all you need to stay on the go. Creamy plus evaporated milk is now available in a shop near you. For bulk purchases, please contact Les Farm distributors at Medina Ritz Junction on 0501-682-522 or Grace has found us at a Cocoa Photo Dance Summon on 0245-162-747. Creamy Plus Evaporated Milk. This message has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Football fa- Our forefathers didn't fight for freedom for you to be using a phone when not they fatter you. Minya, Debbie Da. That's why Samsung is bringing you the Osei Ye Ghana promo. Buy a Samsung Galaxy A. City 97.3. Accra. City FM. Benjamin Inketia here. Sports Panorama proudly brought to us by Access Bank. Now, Access Bank say, Dear salaried workers, may I have your attention? I am excited to tell you that you don't need to wait for payday. 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 Oh, payday. To get paid. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Charlie, behave. (laughs) They say, you can get paid any day with the Access Bank payday loan. Charlie, get paid any day with the Access Bank payday loan. Offering, simply dial star 901 star 11 hash. Now, not tomorrow, not the day after tomorrow. Do it now. Now, star 901 star 11 hash. Now, they say with this unique offer, you can access up to 40%. Of your net monthly salary before payday. Payday. To solve pressing needs and still have enough to enjoy day. on payday. Payday. This offer is open to all salaried workers. Mm-hmm. So if you want to enjoy this and more, switch your salary account to Access Bank today and get paid any day. Remember, it's simple. Just dial star 901 star. One one, one hash, hash and so get your loan in 60 seconds. Ah, quick! 60 seconds. Quick! No documentation required. Oh. With Access Bank, any day can be pay day. day. Oh, Charlie. Terms and conditions apply. For more information, call toll free on 0800 or visit all our social media or websites. Access Bank More Than Banking. Now, Good Day Energy Drink also proud sponsors of Sports Panorama. Betway. Our brothers. Obviously, investors are back in business. Shout outs ah. to Betway. Well, ah. Yeah, investors are back in business. Man City Bournemouth over 3.5. Hey. Today on the preview show, somebody said, 
the students of UBT mm-hmm. need to be careful. Which one is that? University of Betting Technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into the world of transfers. So let's get into it. Let's sell and buy some players. Let's get into transfers right now. Don Dawaso is Don Kobe time. Style. One place, May, for sale, one ton of cheap. Don Kobe, yo, Don Kobe. We didn't loan this play a thousand dollars. Don Kobe, yo, Don Kobe. For this striker, we can consider. Don Kobe, yo, Don Kobe. You know they see you use. Let's <laughs> Wow, Charlie, United is the organization that keeps giving. I break my heart. <laughs> Say you love me again. Charlie, don't do this. The other part is what? Hey, behave yourself, my brother. Behave yourself over there, young man. Tony Braxton sang it that way. Would you have liked it? Charlie, <laughs> La- last, last, everybody go to your breakfast. Ah, <laughs> the breakfast, the people talk finish. Let's get on to the United bus and go uh, to Adrian Rabio's house. Don't do it. Don't do it. Adrian Don't do it. Rabio. Ben. Now, the word is that there is a £17 million move in the works and um, Adrian Rabio's mother, who happens to be his agent, Mama Vero. Yeah, Charlie, Veronica Rabio. Is the one engaging Manchester United in these negotiations? Mm-hmm. Let me start off with you, Daniel. Rabio to Man United. Let me just say this before I go into it. There, there's a lot of emotion being attached to this move. A lot of United fans, because they've been looking for De Young, they didn't. They, 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 when the Rabio move was announced, a lot of people were upset. But guys, if the Adrian Rabio I know is the one United is getting. To come and play in that holding midfield role. I do not think this is a bad deal at all. I think United fans have actually overreacted to this. <laughs> Let me land. Let me land. Adrian Rabio remains a very decent player. I think he's definitely an upgrade on McTominay. If you can stomach McTominay for two, three seasons... No, statistically, that's not what he says. Eh? Oh, Tomine don't, don't go and look at passing no, percentages. Don't go and look at passing percentages and those things. See, you, you, you are the one who says it yourself. But the a day ground. But the day ball for more. Statistics, no dear. She won't try it. Daniel! Don't do it. Rabio to Man United. Don't call me or not. How can I don't call me this? Why is United doing this? Eh? He's better than what you have. Why is United doing this? Why? I don't understand. Look, before you continue, I had Woodward's number. Mm -hmm. I need the number of Meta. Richard Arnold. Arnold. I need that number. Number of who? Meta. 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 Thank you. (laughs) I don't know what to do again. So do you know what I've done? I've given up. Ah. Oh, it's true. But you were supposed to have moved teams by now. That's what you said. Oh, yes. I said I will move. He's, gone, he's going to Turin. You, you were holding on to hope. Oh, relax. He's going to Turin. I said I will move. And as for the moving, I will move. But you see, you can move and stay. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Your mind can move, but their soul is still there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, man, you! No, in Ketia, let's be serious. Hmm. Ten Hag. Since 2019, hmm. I have wanted this man. Nathan will tell you. Yeah, that's true. In fact, I said, if man, you, this one, <laughs> after Ragnik, if they didn't take Ten Hag, my body, my soul, my mind, my spirit, I was going. And never to return again. Mm. But, oh, Tihizi, you can't come with these glaring flaws in the team. The problems are staring at you in the face. The young is on your list. You are not getting the young. And it's Rabiu you are going for. Inconsistent Rabiu. 
be honest, Rabio hasn't been given a chance to play consistent football in the last He's two years. He's been playing. Hey, don't team. say this. Don't Where say this. Almost every game for you. Hey. Oh, he plays almost every game. This for is you. UV's yeah. the, the linchpin of the UV midfield. He's always playing. The linchpin. He's always playing. Hey, you see, hey. He's one of those players that he's very difficult to figure out. Mm. Very difficult. He can do a number of different things on the pitch, but you don't really know where he's best suited. Mm. And that's a problem. Because Man United's problem right now is a lack of a specialist. Oh, Ten Hag, you spent preseason with this team, mm -hmm. came into the first game of the season, and you played Fred and McTominay. Hmm. Your entire midfield was fit, and you played Fred and McTominay. You are trying to tell us that. That is your best midfield combination as a stance. Mm -hmm. That's what you are telling us. And if clearly it didn't work, after how many minutes, 50 or 60 minutes, you had to take one of them off and quickly make a, 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 a quick reshuffle in the midfield. And you have a chance. The week after you've received your baptism, uh, baptism, it's not even baptism of fire, but a sweet dose of life in the Premier League. Brighton has given it to you. Cool. And then you go into the transfer window and it's Rabio you want. And after Rabio, Arnautovic. You see, let's get this right. Marco! Man, you didn't pull out of the Arnautovic move for footballing reasons. So. It wasn't footballing reasons. It was because of that uh, racist yeah, chant. The fans, the fans said... And the fans wrote an email to, was it Meta? Yeah, John Meta. And yeah. told him that, see, this guy cannot be associated Meta, with the and, oh they boy. The, and they finished and they had to go and convince... You know, I was part of that email. Oh, I know. I told Meta, ke oh boy. <laughs> Meta, Anibula boy. Anotovic. And you see, the fact that they had to finish and go and convince Ten Hag that this is what the people are saying and they have a case. So, so it means it's Ten Hag who is going for Anotovic. Are we serious? <laughs> he scored 14 league goals last season. You are going to start. You say you are rebuilding. You see, this is the thing that when Ronaldo hears, he doesn't understand. Though. You are telling me you are rebuilding. But at the start of the season, in fact, the last two seasons, you've made this mistake. You went for Igalo, an old man who was on retirement. He came, he came to sleep, he left. You finished, you went for Cavani, oh oh another old man who was on retirement. Old you finished, Dwadi. You are going for... Ah, is it Ten Hag who is all of a sudden going to put a, a competitive spirit in Arnold? Arnold was played in the Premier League, got tired, went to China to chop money. So that Charlie, the China there, you know, the food or something wasn't nice. So he's come back to Italian football. And then I come to bring him to Man United at this particular point in time. It's such a bad move. And for the fans to write an email to the is it head of recruitment, for him to finish and come and uh, 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 convince you, the head coach, that Charlie, what the, things, what the people are saying, they have a case. So let's look for somebody else. It's a serious problem. Because mm. Cody Gakpo is on the list. Gakpo, Gakpo. Oh! Cody Gakpo. Charlie, they say, they say Gakpo means... They say, they say, they say Gakpo means metals. Meta. Kang, 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 kang. <laughs> He's on the list. No, but Cody Gakpo is a really good player. Though. Solid guy. And if that guy is on the list and you were going to pursue Arnautovic before him. It's a problem for a team that says they are in a rebuild. Then this Rabiot thing. You see, let's not kid ourselves. Between Fred and McTominay, even in preseason, we've seen that if Ten Hag is going to go for either one of them, he's going for Fred left-footed. Then you are going to bring Rabio, mm -hmm. left-footed. We know what that means in midfield. You have two left-footed players in midfield. But God, what there's, you know? There's a serious they can, problem. Uh, uh, South, I uh, uh, By game, our ways. Look, by Inna game with five, Ten Hag, because I'm sure McLaren is telling him he's just being stubborn. That uh, 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 Lissandro Martinez guy he's playing at centre-back. Mm -hmm. By game with five, I clear. he will change. I clear. And if he comes into midfield, left-footed, Rabiot, left-footed, Fred, left-footed, mm. it's a serious problem for balance. Mm -hmm. This thing, you see, and what's annoying is that these are things that coaches have come and have already said. Oh, Van Gaal came, he experienced the same problem. This left, 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 left thing. And he said, he had, you see, you can't play. And we all understand. Then you can't buy Cody Gakpo then. Oh. Because he's a left, he's a left-sided no, no, winger. Left left we left need winger. a left winger. But we have James right Sancho. No, no, we have no. a left-footed. We need a left-footed who will play from the right. Right, okay. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Sancho, I don't left right left footed. Need Rashford, I always say she. I'm yeah. talking about, you see, the problem is in central midfield. Yeah. And you see, that is the heart of a team. Of course. The heart of a team is in the middle. So if your mid middle is imbalanced, it will affect the rest of the team. That's why, look, I sat here several, I'm telling you, my United's defensive problem, eh? 
Partly okay, fine. Some of the defenders are to blame. But the majority of the problem is from me, Fred. It's because there's no good cover. They're always in no, front of the ball. Yeah, exactly. So that gap that is left in between the, 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 the two uh, central midfielders and the defense. And so if you go and put Kulibali and Van Dijk there, they will struggle. They will struggle because the space that is always left there, mm. half the time, in fact, 90% of the time, it will favor the attackers. Why is it that uh, uh, Maguire, if you go and watch Maguire's individual stats in terms of one on one defending, aerial duels, individual duels, he was winning almost all of them in Leicester. He comes to Man United, it's a problem. You look at Varane and Real Madrid, he comes to Man United, it's a problem. You look at Lindelof, anytime Lindelof leaves the Man United setting to Sweden and you watch him, completely different player. He comes to Man United, it's a problem. Bailly, oh, they say, oh, let's Bailly play. He plays one game, he's doing well. The following game, he starts to struggle, everybody else is struggling. Is it, when are you going to stop blaming the individuals? There's a problem with the structure, and that structure is from the midfield. Friend. Just fix it. Oh, this one too, how many times will we tell you? Just fix it. Simple fixing of the midfield to Adani Asem. The young Charlie, is you not know, coming. Meta says that. The young is no, not no, no, coming. Meta says that you no, don't, don't deserve do your first there choice. There's a new update. No, there's, there's a current work. No, 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 we are three weeks to the end of the transfer. Yeah. The, uh, if the young is going anywhere to it's going to be young. It's going to be young. I can't, I can't, I can't, not three, I can't, not three. Please, uh -huh. do you know what Chelsea is doing on the matter? Hold on, hold on a second. Chelsea, they have got... They've already spoken to the boy. No, that's not true. Oh, I'm telling you that is a matter of fact. That's not true. They have rather gone to speak to Barcelona. And Barcelona, what about them? They are triggering. You see, I'm in trigger. Now you, you Chelsea, can you buy Koulibaly? They can buy it. They can buy it. They have bought Koulibaly. It's their money. They have bought a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a the Sterling. Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling. They have bought the Alata boy. Chukwemeka. They will buy for Fana. It is five million. Ninety-five million pounds. They will. Me, 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 me. There's cash. Me, me, me. Don't bully. Oh no, we buy a bankruptcy. There's, there's cash. We buy a bank. Look. Can I say Let's something about one. this Anatovic thing? Yeah, quick one. I think the reason why he's looking at Anatovic is that when your backup is Martial, and we've seen Martial's form over the last two years, it's not good. Marcel has scored nine league goals in the last two seasons. Anatovic came from China and scored 14 goals in Syria last season. Mm -hmm. There's a clear description as it stands. Anatovic looks like the better player on paper. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very not, clear. It's not that even a paper matter, Susu. Let's be honest. Look, if it's not for the racism issues so Daniel's talking about, Anatovic. 33 years old. Ah, Anatovic just went to China and you. came back. The pace of the Syria is different from that of the Premier League. You can't, you see, <laughs> you can't say Anatovic is the same player who left the Premier League a couple of seasons ago. He's not. He's not. He's 32. But you see, the players you have in the Premier League are still not Man doing United, the business. Man United is not in the state where you should be buying stopgap players. This guy no. is 32. It's a rebuild. Rebuild them, yo. Maybe Anatovic. What is Anatovic going to do? What is Anatovic going to do? No more. Hmm. Rebuilding. Maybe Anatovic. Oh. Imagine. Let's but, not do this. But thing. you are at a situation where you're uh, striking. He plays for us, right? These are mistakes no, Liverpool no, no, made. I have to say, time you're, you're time in a situation where your starting striker, Cristiano Ronaldo, doesn't want to be at the club. You, you need still, someone you to be there. Anatovic. But you need someone. How about what me pony at right? They should come for you me. You need someone. Three and months I, of a transfer window in ah, Anatovic. Anatovic. No, you don't get it. Don't get what I'm saying. Yes. I'm saying United are repeating the same mistakes they've no, made. You've made it. You've made it. You've made it. You've made all these points. You are you've going made all these points. You've made all these points. But the transfer window is nearly over and the striker is not there. You need someone now. We should not on Anatovic because the deal has been cancelled. Let's go to this that will happen. Frankie D. Anatovic. Beshik Anatovic. Marco. Me, I think it's a smart move. No, I, think, see, I, think, for, I think they have been a very unfair for, to Forget them. No, but we've cancelled the deal already. As for, so, as for, as for Team Anatovic, we you. exist. We, we oh, think no, that no, no. Anatovic will be good for United. See, we see, we think you will be good for your team. The Syria, eh, 37 year olds, 40 year olds can play in that league. But you cannot Syria bring... Slow. Oh. You can't bring a 33 year old striker. At all. On, ah, he went for holiday in China. Has come back to Bologna, not any property. No Bologna, more. Uh, has come to Manchester. Try to respect the brands more. No, oh. more. I, I think the the latest on Frankie Dion. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Which latest? Again? <laughs>
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where you get this. I don't know where you get this confidence from. She nicked to him. She nicked to him. Oh, um, per se, I understand what you are saying. But what I'm saying is the fact of the matter is this Frankie Dion, he has not said anywhere he will not play for Manchester United. He has never said it. He said, I want to stay at Barcelona. The latest, as I speak now, the latest. What latest again? Oh, no. Fabri Fabrizio Nimili. No more. The latest is that if United don't sign Frankie Dion in the next seven days, they won't sign him in the next I'm seven days. I'm a No. I'm a Landy. I'm a Landy. I'm a Landy. Oh, no more. I'm a Landy. I'm a Landy. I'm a Landy. I'm a Landy. I'm a the latest is that <laughs> if United does not sign Frankie Dion the next seven days, uh -huh. United will not even sign any player. Yo. Hey. That's, if you Are you Meta's assistant? The then Dinacho and the rest will be promoted from the under 23 to come and play. Uh, congratulations. I'm on telling you honestly. Because your ninth, your ninth place the, 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 the info I am getting right now as a city, I've shown it to the Takao. He doesn't want to admit it. Oh, Fabricio Nimli share his inside. The matter is this. Dion will agree to play for Manchester United. You don't know Dion. Eric Ten Hag has had the final conversation, and the boy had said that. He's ready to come. He's coming home. This is what United is going to the do. The boy hasn't said anything. United going to is going to pay. Ah, the boy has not said he's going to Chelsea. Just crying. He's not even sat with the agent. But the boy too has never said he's coming and home. But, but you see, we have discussed matters with the agent. We have agreed with the yeah, agent. Said we have agreed with us. You wait. Let me learn. We have agreed. We have agreed. You, you my United have agreed with the agent. We've agreed with Barcelona. You yeah. Chelsea, you went to look for Pierre Merrick Obama. Yeah? And you said, Oh, no, get the young available. Obama and no coffee. You weren't even spoken to the agent. We have a deal in place. Mm. And I'm telling everybody that the relationship between Ten Hag and Frank and Frankie Dion is what was special. Was no, it was special. He won't, he won't uh, 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 forgo at 17 million he pounds. Will, he, will that he will not do it. But not, right now, you United are saying that they will pay 10 million mm -hmm. out of the 17. So Basa, if they they don't refuse, if they refuse to pay, the other seven million will spread it in five years and pay. There is cash. There is no problem. I heard they say no more. Ellen Haaland, no more. No, Ellen Haaland. Let me tell you why he didn't come to my you because of rocking in injury to the father. The father has always hated Manchester. I can't believe. Oh, but who else? Walk at Jadon Santo. I said they okay. But you knew about rocking tackle where you said make a leg be no more. I thought I thought the father. And you forgiving him. He said the father has forgiven him. Rocky. But he says not. I can't believe it. Yes, so what can Jerry Sandro do? Bruno Fernandez. What can let me know more? Chill out. Chill out. Let me chill out. I say, eh, honey, bulabe. Eh, honey, bulabe. No, what can let me know? Madison. Madison. Eh, honey, bulabe. I said it here. Interesting. What can let me know more? He came. How many players have I said what can let me know more? Nibaku. How many players? Uh, a lot. Like, who? Give me three examples of players I've said what can let Frankie De Jong. Oh, what can let me go now? Oh, but the transfer window has not been closed. So you cannot say what can let me go now. Okay. We may not do that. Look, what can let me know more? Interesting there. I'll read a few of your, your <laughs> messages and your tweets in a bit. Um, Nathan, you see, yeah. You see what I said months ago? Eh? That one day, one day, Man United as a club will not exist. When I said it, people didn't understand. This is the manifestation. Where you are even looking for C-grade players, you can't get. Yeah. You are looking for C-grade players who, and B-grade players, you can't get. <laughs> See, United, think about United, who, they want to sign Adrian Rabiot. They are struggling to sign Adrian Rabiot. Oh, their mother say he won't take less than 7 million. 
Wait till this is. We say we are not paying overboard. Yeah, Apart so from the you young, pay, you get the paid. young will take the four hundred thousand pounds a week. No, you we'll see, but coach, he's taking because he's the one to change, transform the team. But coach, this is the ten. But coach, 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 Frankie the young. Coach, Frankie is taking five hundred thousand now. Who? Frankie the young is taking five hundred thousand. What is your problem? No, so he's he offering a wage reduction. The fact is, Frankie the young is ten hearts number one choice. Oh, and if Meta, I know. I'm a barkeeper. Then I'm a meta. Meta ke ano. Me je gbe mo boja to ano. I do ano. Ano ke meta. You know, Woodward will come back as chief executive. Not coming back because Woodward, you will have paid the money by now. You are, you are not attractive again. No Champions League football. No guarantee of imminent trans Champions League football. The youth are, you say you won't pay. So who should come? Ah, see, <laughs> we are doing rebuild. We won't pay overboard. I don't pay. You won't pay. Spread them out. Tell me you have. Eh, I'm a twa. As for Man United and their willingness not to pay, whatever that secondary, what annoys me is this seeming lack of a plan as to what to do. You see, hmm. when Ralph Rangnick was leaving, he told he left a a very very intricate and full scap notebook. I told them myself. that see this team needs surgery. You need open like heart surgery. Ten players. Hmm. Buy this. And he gave them a short list. If you don't get this guy, get, get this, this guy. guy. If you don't get this guy, and then then they. What was the reason, John? Uh, uh, no, uh, Richard. I don't told people yeah, that. I don't get meta. Ralph Rangnick was too open. He was too truthful, and that there were some of the things he should have kept in his pocket. And he kept talking in interviews, so we didn't think it was right to keep him. Now we are back to this point. Some of the players United are chasing now are players Rangnick told them that they are like B level players. These are the A-level players. If you want, go after this guy. Go after that guy. Go after that guy. Look, Man United need to learn something. That now, in this business, everybody has money. So money doesn't move anybody. A shock. If you don't have a proper plan to attract a player, no player will show up. Some, 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 players, literally, some players literally will ask you to do a presentation See, for them on what your five-year plan is See, before exactly. they sign for you. And I kind of agree with Daniel. I look at Eric Ten Hag and I'm very surprised. Is he telling me that when he thought of this job, he didn't have options as to who could play in that role. Is he saying Aside that? Young. Is he saying that Frankie is the end he's all on be all? Apart from Frankie, he's not serious. Tommy me or French will play. He's not, he's not serious. Time is going. Let's talk about him. Player, it's only so if De Jong comes and he gets injured, that means our season is there. Let him come. Let him come. Let him come. Let him get injured. He's not serious. The, other bit, the other bit about Ten Hag that surprises me is that. When he was doing preseason, did he ever play Fred and McTominay together? No, zero. There was no striker on the day. Let me so he, when if oh. Ericsson and Bruno, one of them is going to stay, has to play as a false nine, he needed another man in the midfield. You can so who would you system. trust? You will not bring in Van der Beek, who has not been playing with this team no more. competitively. I'd rather so play. I'd rather, Tom and Fred. I'd rather play Zidane Iqbal. Oh, that be me no you all. Oh, it, it, bye, bye. I'd, sure. I'd rather play Zidane no. Iqbal because it, actually, it was very he's clear. A small boy. Hold on, he's hold on. let me finish. It was very, many years what? It was very he obvious. Was five years. Ooh. It was very obvious on the day that he's Scott McTominay was causing Man United all their headache. Did you see Brighton's second goal? Hmm. Do you know that Scott McTominay chased the ball to the Brighton penal, uh, corner box, uh, the corner quadrant? He lost the ball and the ball went past him, he, both he and Fred. Where Pascal Gross stood to score, Fred was standing there. He looked at the ball and then passed. No more. Well, yet how they, had, they had Danny Welbeck looking like prime everybody. Yeah, you know? Look, let's, 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 move let's, let's, let's move it on. Let's move it on. Let's, move it on. let's get to the camp of Chelsea Football Club. And they look like they might be compelled to break the bank for Wesley for Fana. So, Leicester are demanding something in the region of 95 million yes. pounds. You I think it's 95 million euros. 95 million euros. So let's yeah. say about 90 million pounds. Or 87. Look, they have to pay the money. Because from what we saw last week, mm -hmm. if you are a Chelsea supporter, and you saw the clear manifestation of the mileage in the legs of Khalilu Koulibaly and the mileage in the legs of Thiago Silva, it is clear with this year being a World Cup year, mm -hmm. if you add the ages of Koulibaly, Thiago Silva, and uh, Numo Cesar as Mlikweta, it's over 100 years. <laughs> Pension FC. Pension, yes. <laughs> it's over 100 years. So they need a fresh blood. Yeah, he's Somebody as young as younger. That to bring a balance. Mm. Because now with the Kukarera boy, 
Kukrudu on the left. <laughs> no, it's, it's if you where, it's when he plays it, with Polibali that's Kukrudu. Kukrudu. When you bring in Fofana, mm -hmm. Fofana too is an excellent ball playing centre back. Yeah. No, a laboratory then check. But yeah, is for this one day. See the Chelsea people. I'm talking for you. You see the way you are happy wherever you are listening to me from. <laughs> you have to buy that boy. If Chelsea were to buy Fofana, the next move they should be looking about is to go and buy a striker. Mm. As for the Frankie Dionte, they should forget about it, crap, because that is not what they need. <laughs> I mean, I, are you the one to tell Chelsea what I they need? Telling, no, but if you are a true Chelsea fan, tell me, Fofana, a striker, and Frankie De Jong, rate the, the first level of importance. Level of importance. Let me take some thoughts here. About their midfield not being able to progress the ball. So hey. once Frankie De Jong come in, progress the ball for them. I'll so that Kahabe uh, 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 should go and score. Yeah, yeah he'll score. Once the ball comes in, he he'll score like, less than nine goals in the premiership yeah. in all competitions. Because the, yeah. the ball wasn't coming to him because ah. of the midfield being poor. The man so they are fixing adjust. it. Oh, once the ball comes in, he'll show you levels. How is the ball come? That's what they want for let's, 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 let's come across on Fofana. Talk to me a bit about Fofana. I mean, coach has already highlighted a few of his qualities. Ball playing, centre back, blah, blah, blah. He's a good player. Suffered a very gruesome injury that literally derailed him the whole of... Mm. I think it was last season? He's yeah, last he's strong. He looks a bit slight because of, he just doesn't look big, but he's a big guy. He's a good he, player. He's a very good player. So, look, I understand why Chelsea wants him because if you get Fofana, that's the next decade of your defence sorted. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I listened to Brenda Rogers yesterday. He didn't say Leicester will not say hello. What he said was, there have been two offers. Yeah. But those offers have not met the proper valuation, valuation of, of the player, which means mm -hmm. Chelsea themselves, they are aware. It is clear that it is 85 million pounds. It's mm, a lot of money. And Leicester, they are not going to take part, part payment. No, Maguire, no, I'm you mean a mahish cafe money in the hand back na ground on a court and I go and I have money in the hand back na ground court and okuta over pay let's talk about Gideon Mensa he has moved from his long time lover and parent club RB Salzburg or Red Bull Salzburg in Austria. He's finally joined French League Anside Auxerre. It's a three-year deal. Uh, he spent last season on loan at Girodin Bordeaux. He's finally made a permanent deal. He's been on loan forever. Uh, Zolte, I'm, I'm glad Zolte it's Wajem, permanent. Victoria Guimaraes, Girodin Bordeaux. You've yeah. you've made me proud. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bordeaux. Bordeaux. I'm, I'm glad it's a permanent like, move. because I've been playing the French League and small. So it's good, it's good. The, 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 the loan moves are too much. Continue. And it yeah. messes up your career. And mm. even look at someone like Barbara Raman. Going on loan, on loan, on loan. It's not helped him. He should have moved clubs, in my opinion. But at I least... Gideon, 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 exactly. Gideon, 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 swimming in good cash. Oh, but you, if he was playing consistently, you can get back to that level. Well... You know? But, I mean, there's the financial side and there's mm -hmm. the sporting side. So, mm -hmm. I think it's good he's made the move. But I'm concerned about the team in question. Because Oxer mm -hmm. did not start the league goal. Well. In their first 10 minutes, they considered two goals. So, it's <laughs> going to, it looks like it's going to be a very long season for them. Drink up thing. Oh, bro. But, but I'm happy. It's a World Cup here. It's what you want? to drink in Division 1 than to drink in Division 2. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Definitely. And I'm happy for him. I mean, if you're yeah. a player, you think about a lot of these things. What you want is to play consistently. Yeah. What you want is to be in good form. So suddenly when you know that you, you yeah. almost have a World Cup position in your hands, right? And all of us here in this parish know that Gideon Mensa on form will get a place in the Black Star. So I think mm -hmm. that he's thinking about the World Cup and I think he's making a right move. Now he has to push and get games, you know, and fight hard and become first choice left back, you know, for Auxerre and then, and then we see how it goes. But I like the fact that he's thinking yeah. about the career and the fact that it's an important time to make a move, seek proper football and then you, you build the rest of the journey. <laughs> So we don't call me Gideon Mensa to Oxer. Ten thousand percent. Yeah, Charlie. Let me read a few messages and then we'll get into some preview of the Premier League tomorrow. So this one here is from Ni Adote Mensa inside at Boba. He says, Hi Danny K, welcome back, Numo Charlie. This one at Manchester United, Igo B. Hey, I can't stand the trolling this season too. Hmm. This one says, Riddle, Riddle. Man United got beaten by me during the end of last season and the beginning of this season. They used to call me Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Who am I? Brighton. <laughs> this is David Addo, known as Romantic from Community 17, Lashibi. Hey, boys. <laughs> Abraham from Trasaco says, Good evening, Ben. In this transfer window, some teams are signing proper players while others are signing names of telecommunications companies and six killer diseases from Feyenoord. 
also there's another team in London who are scouting for who are scouting uh for others I don't to know what sign. to sign. Okay. Uh, it says no wonder the CEO is called Tibolibo and has so far <laughs> signed Kukrudu and wants to add for Fana so that it will be called Kukrudu Kukru. Afana. <laughs> What the hell? What? <laughs> I like it. What? Abraham, <laughs> you're a top guy, my brother. Okay, Selassie so from Adenta so says, Marcus Rashford needs to, to be sold now by United. He's an average player uh, and he's overhyped. He's United, going to PSG. United, United should stop keeping overhyped average British players. United hmm. said PSG should pay 120. Reinhard Saki from Achimota says, we are only one week into the season, but Ten Hag has already lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> has he lost 10 kilos? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Ebenezer from Nungwa says, God willing, Arsenal is beating Leicester tomorrow. Gabriel Jesus on the score sheet. Um, this one here says that uh, Coach Chris is the best. Big ups. My role model. Uh, City Sports crew, good evening. Okay. Um, Barry Maba uh, from La says that um, Ben and Panorama team, um, Panorama is back and back with another bang that Don Bote voice alone is enough. Uh, it does it for me, displaying his multilingual skills, mixing patois and English. Quite okay, fair. Um, he say one of previous weekend games are back again. Chelsea will continue where they left off with Spurs uh, last season. Okay, more messages. This one here um, says, okay, I think I read this already. This one says, I've uh, been crew. I'm glad another Friday and I'm bleeding. My man United... Uh, from what's going on in the transfer market for us, it sums up our story in the past five years. No proper plan from both the technical team management and owners. We are just joking. Sadiq uh, from Jason with that one, I think. Cowbell from Jumako. <laughs> Charlie, Cowbell power. Says, it's always a good feeling listening to Panorama. In fact, five days without Panorama is like eating fufu without soup. My lovely man United will surely beat Brentford tomorrow. We can't afford to lose or draw this game. Big ups to Coach Chris. Okay, like That's him so much. Affording to, you can't afford in Ghana. <laughs> Um, this one here uh, says the best panorama, the best sports program on a freaky, funky, fabulous, fantastic, flowering, firing Friday. He say with a chilled can of good day energy mm. drink. Please help me ask Coach how will, uh, how he will describe Son as one on one with Kulibali on Sunday. Um, <laughs> oh, Jale. <laughs> Someone doing a listening from <laughs> William Industrial Company, Ajin Kotoku. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to diagnose Kulibali's. The sample is in the lab. He's been taken through some spectroscopic <laughs> oh, analysis and spectroscopic once, analysis. Oh, once we are done, then oh, we will Charlie. see. He, he, he has some suspected disease. Uh -huh. So, uh, no, uh, the analysis. <laughs> symptoms. symptoms of certain things. Uh, uh, Kudu and Kui combined. <laughs> <laughs> This one says, AJ, coach, coach will cry pepper if you continue supporting Man United. Nico Joso with that one. Nijan from Takradi says, good evening, Ben. Chelsea now have Kalidu and Kukaraya. So, yes, definitely Kukrudu. Yeah, we know that one. This one here uh, says, I tune in to listen to prayers from coach. The young is coming to the blue and the blue oh, from Samson Kome, police hospital. <laughs> Eka, Hi, Samson, how are you? A cat from Dansuman says, I don't understand people who are putting Spurs above Chelsea. Chelsea has beaten Spurs on seven different occasions with Kane, Son, Dele Ali, Eriksen, Loris on display. Any side can win it or it can be a draw. Lambert from Dodo says, this one says, our girls played shockingly poor yesterday, but the referee didn't help issues too. In my opinion, the referee was poor. Let's talk about Chelsea versus Spurs. So, so let me start off with you. Um, who wins that game for you and why? Look, I can't actually say because this is too hard, but I want to see improvement from space. That's what I want to see. Because last they season... They seem that one for one. You want to see what's improvement No, no I mean, compared to last season, when okay. Chelsea were giving them auto auto, they gave them league cup, double, league, double. They gave them everywhere. Charlie. So now I want to see imp want to see them compete. Because the last few matches against Chelsea, they didn't compete. Mm. So that's the first thing. They have to compete. But on form, on form, I'm 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 thinking I'm thinking Spurs will show us their title credentials by winning the game. That's what I think. Hmm. So Spurs for the win, Nathan. Yeah, the Spurs look like a team that that could win um, at, at Chelsea. And like I said earlier on the preview show, I think would Spurs Spurs's bid to end the tag of a serious team is heavily based on what happens on Sunday. Mm. Should they get a good result, say they beat Chelsea, then everybody will start to take news. And for their own good and for their own confidence, they need it. Because if you look at Spurs, and the last time they were this close to a title was under Mopo, yeah. the year Leicester won, 
what they had going for them was a consistent start and the fact that they, they believed in their abilities all through the season. It was just at Chelsea that they kind of crumbled. So they will have to try and find confidence. It means that if they win that game on Sunday, they can start telling themselves, wow, this is something we can actually possibly do. Of course, they need to think about Liverpool and Man City because they will show up mm -hmm. very strong as the season goes on. So I think that they will have to believe in their ability. I don't know what kind of state Chelsea are. And I get the sense Chelsea are also trying to figure this thing out. You know, there's no Lukaku. There's Sterling who's coming. They are trying to understand where they are going. For them, I also believe that if they get a good result on Sunday, their season kicks off for them. So very important. But I look at Spurs and, and I... And I think that they can go into that game and feel confident. Just a quick one. So, a big shout out to my people in Ho Tally. They say the sports panorama. No, we be in ding 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 in oh. Ho Tally. They say some, one of my good friends there is called Eric Bessa. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Eric says Tally would be this thing. Another good friend there is called Saint Saki. Oh, Saint. Saint Saki. Saint Saki. Yeah, Saint Saki. Is a, he's a big man. But you see, just take the Saint Saki like that. He's <laughs> he's a big man, too big. Tally, big shout out to everybody doing the listening in Ho. Eric Bessa and uh, Saint Saki. Coach. Yeah. Please, I don't know if you want to tackle Chelsea today, a good friend, yeah, but I want you to also touch Chelsea on Arsenal Leicester. That's I think that's going to be happening. a very good game. Cracker. I fancy Arsenal to beat Leicester because Leicester, they threw away a two goal lead last yep. week. They are back Defensively, again. they are back again. They are not sure of themselves. So, yeah, and they've I don't not see, added anybody to uh, their team. Yes, they are yet to. They are the only, I think they are the only team in the Premier League. Yeah, and they've lost not to have added any player. And for Fana to go very soon. So, <laughs> I think they are in success and. Sevens and I expect Arsenal to go in comfortably. I was I expect it, it to be a I goal. just have to say Brendan Rogers said that he thought they'll get space on the counter. So I believe he took off a midfielder and brought on Pat Sindaka and that's and what then, and that backfired. And that backfired. So, so he maybe you learn his lesson. Tomorrow I think Arsenal will win. And then and on that Chelsea Spaces game, I think it's going to be a very, very intense game. Chelsea clearly understand that when Antonio Conte is the opposing manager, mm -hmm. you just cannot go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And tactically, the two teams will shape up in most likely the same way. Mm -hmm. So like I usually say, to come down to the protagonists themselves, who has got the better players, more technical players, yeah. or who are the team ready to do the extra things. In Spurs' setup, they are looking very, very solid. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, that back three... Over 100 years. Pension FC. You don't want to have any of them in a foot race with the South Korean international. You mean Krodos will be activated? Be activated at a very high intensity. <laughs> and as a result, the entropy of the Chelsea defense is going to be legendary. Entropy. Degree of disorderliness. Oh, Charlie. That defense is going to be legendary. So what if I Chelsea, what you need to do is to find a better way of taking the steam out of the game mm. and then waiting for your moment. But if you look at the build-up, Raheem Sterling has been given the license to go everywhere yeah. from what we saw last yeah, week. Cajaves looks very stationary. The number nine he normally plays doesn't restrict his movement. I don't know because Raheem Sterling was given the license. He had to be restricted. His movement had to be in the box. That to me is going to be where the problem is going to come from. So if Chelsea can find a better way of getting the front three to at least rotate, then they have a chance. Mm. The wing backs we saw of James and then uh, Chiwa are not putting in the crosses at all. Is it because they clearly understand that Kahavis is no, not yeah, a better target? There's no man. target. This team is being restricted. I, I'll dedicate a whole show to Kai Havertz. It'll be only me. Me, yeah, but I'll, no I'll be talking. The, the team has been restricted. And if you look at the amount of money the man is pumping into the team, I say here now and ever, they better go and get a striker. Mm. If it is oh, Pierre Chris, Emery... Because it, it looks like... It, I don't know, but I look at them. Tuchel doesn't probably want one. And at the end of the day... They are not going to win the league he without he one. He said, actually, once I won, they will not win the league. Sober. Yes, they have to. Because, line. look, Kahavas will not give you 20 plus goals. No. And any team who wins this league should have a maxman. That's called 20, plus, got 20 goals. plus goals. Well, as simple as just, that. just a quick one before we go. So, the Ballon d'Or list has been released, and surprise, surprise, the small goods is not in it. The small good, yeah, they didn't make it. Messi didn't make he it. He didn't sure. make it. Why did you expect him to be part? Oh, no. I mean, Ekitike was outscoring him in the French oh, League. Sure. Uh, he wasn't going to make it. <laughs> if Hugo Ekitike is outscoring but, but, you in the but, French but, League. Uh, 
you know, can we say he that doesn't want that one again? Benzema. Hey, he doesn't want what? He's won the Oh, please. Let's, 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 let's not do this. He was giving Can we say Let's not do this. We're giving other people chances let to me just, Let me just read the nominees and then I'll go to the, the, the live. So, so, Thibaut Courtois is in there. Rafael Leao of Milan is in there. Joshua Kimmich is in there. Um, Christopher Inkunku. United say they don't like. Inkunku. He said he didn't like. <laughs> He's in there. Mohamed Salah is there. Trent Alexander-Arnold is in there. Vinicius Jr. is here. Bernardo Silva, Luis Diaz, Robert Lewandowski, mm-hmm. Riyad Mahrez, Casemiro, Son Heung-Ming, Fabinho, and Karim the Benz. Karim the Dream. Yeah, he's in there. Mike Manyan is in there. Harry Kane, Darwin Nunez, Phil Foden, Sadio Mane, Sebastian Ale. What's Ale doing? I saw it last season. Oh, yeah. a, a lot he's of scored, champions He scored goals. all his goals in the first half. I went to sleep the second half, please. I don't know why he's in here. Ellen Haaland is there. Kylian Mbappe is here. Joao Cancelo, Virgil van Dijk, Dusan Vlahovic is in here. Kevin De Bruyne, Cristiano Ronaldo, of course. Of course. And then coach's good friend, Antonio the Crudodistic ah, Rudy. Yes. Oh, no Sadio. More. Who? Yes, Sadio. Money. Sadio. Money? Yeah. Oh, he's in there. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Money is in here. Because he's the winner. Ale. <laughs> Luka Modric is also here. So that's your list the there. The winner is Karim the Dream. That's your list there. Let me just quickly run through. Let me run through the, the fixtures. So early kickoff live on uh, radio tomorrow is Aston Villa Everton. Then we do Arsenal oh, versus Leicester. Judah versus Lampard. Oh, yes. <laughs> Judas versus Lampard. Uh, versus the, 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 versus Jarrah. Uh, Charlie. Because someone is getting sacked oh, yeah. these two. Oh, yeah. Then we have Arsenal Leicester. And then we have, oh, Charlie, Brentford versus Man United. The biggest game Ago, of the day. I go collect seats. To watch this game, <laughs> I go collect seats <laughs> to no, watch this last game. Last season, I made three. War come made you one. I want my yearly. Hey, oh, hey. 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 Sunday, we have been a way about the way. Sunday, we have Nottingham Forest versus West Ham, and then we have Chelsea versus Tottenham. Ah. Tasty, tasty game. Ah. Tasty. Monday night, there's Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. So that's our lineup of games there for March between the EPO. Thank you, Coach Christopher Nimley. Thank you, Nathan Kwao. Thank you, Susu Graham. Thank you, Daniel. I don't know if anybody has any shout-outs 